Hello! Welcome to your own personal tour of the first alpha build we're giving out to backers. So, firstly, if you saw in the lower left-hand corner, there's the little Steam notification. So we have all the Steam integration and although, I mean, we don't have achievements or anything. Uh, there's also a little build note, which I guess maybe we should have moved the overlay or... Um, put that somewhere else, but it says what version uh, we're on, which uh, is helpful for error checking and, and what, uh, um, knowing what uh, new features have been added. So now we have a little screen we put together that just has the, the some build notes uh, while it's December 2nd. Uh, it says November 2013, because that's when we did the build. It's just taken us a bit to, to get ready to distribute it. Um, so we also now support changing resolutions. Um, it's uh, maybe not the prettiest screen in the world, but it, it works. Uh, so right now I'm running in a window. Uh, you can set the resolution. This basically alleviates the need of doing the launcher. I don't know. I don't like launchers personally. I know some people like launchers. Uh, the problem with the launcher is that uh, we wrote it using .NET and uh, port to Mac and Linux and stuff. It would be a pain, so we figured it would be easier just to put everything in game and then we, we support dynamic changing of that. So that's new. Um, <coughs> this, of course, is not new. Um, yeah can't really skip that. Um, so let me show you some other cool new things. So if you look at the shadow uh, in the lower left hand corner, it's a little hard to see. The shadow does not go on the wall. Previously the shadow would overlap with the wall. Uh, this is the player shadow I'm talking about and so it would look kind of crappy. Um, so uh, similarly, I guess it's easier to see when you go this way. Woo, through the door, use the shadow cuts off, uh, which actually shows another problem, uh, is that the shadow still casts when you're sort of moving in the other room and obscured by the door. I don't know if I'm going to fix that. That's pretty minor, but I think, you know, not having the shadow go on the wall like there in the lower left-hand corner uh, is, is a big win, uh, just because it, it's not a 3D shadow, it's not a 3D world, so... Uh, even though we use 3D shadow techniques, it would be difficult to get all that right. Um, so we added our first uh, sort of closer look interaction. Uh, this was born out of the, the uh, feedback from the demo. Why is there, you know, something in color and I can't interact with it? And uh, sure enough, now you can. So I just press A and then A to go away. Uh, Joe uh, Grabowski actually had the great idea of putting uh, teeth in the bloody sink uh, just because I had mentioned in a developer or something or another that I often had, you know, nightmares of losing teeth. Uh, so, um, oh, we have the new walk-up animation. Uh, we haven't done a walk-down yet, but we have walk-up. Uh, someone requested that. It was on my, my to-do list, so we finally put it in. Uh, we have a run animation, so if you can see the hands freak out when you start the run, uh, there's the whole stamina system, so... Oh, I ran too far, and then I have to pant. Um, so that potentially introduces some new bugs, uh, where, uh... I think maybe in the basement you can run out before you, um, before you, uh, sorry, before it triggers you the nightmare and then that causes all sorts of bugs, but the, the run is very prototype. If you want to just experience the demo, and certainly if you're, if you're playing for the first time on Mac or Linux, then I would recommend not running. Um, we have a new face, uh, it used to be in an earlier video, I think the face, the mouth would, uh, open and shut, but now the, the mouth is part of the eyes sort of face thing, so that'll help us do breathing animations that line up with the, the running. 
but we haven't gotten a chance to do that. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about? Uh, we don't have a run up or a run down uh, yet. Uh, something we'll have to put together. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, something cool is uh, a lot of people complain to the controls uh, when you walk through between a hallway like this. So now I'm just holding up on the joystick and then at a certain point he flips around and uh, goes back. The idea is that uh, while you're um, to sort of ease on the transitions where the controls are being remapped, we well, it's complicated, but basically up registers is a different uh, direction for a period of time and then it sort of smoothly interpolates back or you can just, if you change the direction you're pointing, then it will automatically uh, move you in that direction. So I think they did that in Devil May Cry, maybe Parasite Eve, and, and basically it solves the problems with fixed cameras that, that Resident Evil suffered from where you know, all of a sudden your controls work differently, which is why, you know, there's the camera, or the driving uh, a tank, uh, I don't know what you call it, but the Resident Evil controls. So here is interesting, uh, this area is um, different, and the main reason this is different is because we had some players uh, at, uh, there was some, GDC Next event we did and just had people sit down in front of it. And so the problem we were running into was that people would go into this room and they would never see that door on the left, so then they're like, okay, this is a dead end. Let me go and backtrack. So now you can see this door as well as the, the door on the left. Um, and uh, uh, the other thing we did is we made this room a bit smaller because a lot of people would walk all the way down to this side, both both with the candle and without. Um, and there you can see our new sort of camera behavior. Uh, the camera uh, is a lot smoother, a lot more, more interesting, and, and feels a lot better. It's difficult to describe everything I, I did uh, with that, but... Um, yeah, it's cool and, and new. Um, so, yeah, again, this room is a lot smaller. So, oh, I reached the end. Let me go back into the hallway. Um, this game, uh, this room serves a, a sort of interesting gameplay purpose in that it's supposed to make you realize that, hey, maybe you can explore downstairs now that you have a candle. Well, and I really like it. Uh, it's creepy. Um, but the idea is we want to illustrate to players, I mean, like, the, with game design and level layout, you want to sort of guide the player into doing the right thing, and you want to do it without telling him this is the right thing. So there's, there's all sorts of, of ways to accomplish that. Uh, I was playing The Legend of Zelda Link of Between Worlds, and, you know, Sometimes they have characters that essentially tell you, hey, you should try this, but since we're, we're not uh, adopting that sort of uh, mentality, you know, we're trying to keep the... Uh, huh, it looks like someone messed up the, the new wall thing that I was talking about so much uh, is not working in this room. Maybe when we change the dimensions of the room, I will sort that out. Uh, so, interesting note when you, we don't have a candle run animation, so the candle just sort of stays. Uh, the reason it pops from place to place is because uh, we have uh, animation driven translation, so the character moves in the animation file. Um, and then uh, when it loops, it sort of snaps back. Um, you know, uh, I don't know, that's not really that interesting. Uh, from a technical standpoint, it's slightly interesting. Um, if you really want, you can sort of cheat the run and and uh, jog a little, heal a little, jog a little, heal a little, jog a little, heal a little. But 
why, why did I say heal? I mean, um, basically uh, catch your breath a little and, and then keep running. Um, obviously we don't want you... Well, I think the problem is it's A, annoying, and B, the run as, as once we do the enemy encounter prototype, you'll see that you're really going to want to save on your run because you may need it. Uh, so, in some situations, you may need the run to uh, escape from an enemy, and if you don't have your stamina, you're stamina, you're screwed. So, um, I think that'll be interesting, uh, sort of, uh, balancing that. Uh, I, I do agree that the pacing with the run does throw some things off in this demo level. And, uh, you know, assuming that we're all on board for the run, which I think the run is, is important for the enemy uh, encounter, then I'm gonna, you know, see maybe make the run crappier or, or decrease your stamina significantly. So then, essentially, you can run, but it sucks really, really badly uh, in this level and sucks less badly in other levels. And that's an interesting thing because that's something that... that isn't concrete, isn't really measurable to the player, so you know, you don't know exactly how the stamina system works, so if you have less stamina, you're not necessarily going, oh, the other thing we have like analog control, obviously we need to well, no, I think that's alright, I forget, I thought there was some problem with it but now you can like really tiptoe if you want to, I don't know if there's a gameplay uh, if there's gonna be any gameplay, you know, where you need to do that, but I like, I like it, I feel like it gives you more character control. So, anyway, this is the same. Uh, well, I think I, oh, I'm sure there's plenty of more, like, little things that we did that, that don't, uh, quite, um, that I forgot, but, uh, I think this is a, a, pr a pretty good primer to to the alpha demo and the, the new features we have in it and um, what to look out for. Certainly, we're looking for feedback on the on the run mechanic. Um, uh, do you hate it? Do you love it? Do you find it frustrating? I think the run mechanic will. Um, will uh, be more, like the purpose of it will be more clear once we do the enemy encounter um, uh, prototype level, uh, which it will probably put in a, in a couple weeks uh, in, in our next uh, big update, um, which I'm, I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, uh, but uh, I think the, the purpose of the run will become more clear. Uh, when you see that, and I think it'll it'll work pretty well. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you like our, our new alpha features. Be sure to, to check out the, the build, and, and uh, let me know if you run into any problems. Thanks.